Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tasha's Take, Fashion of the Bachelorette. This week, we are talking about episode four, Dupes. Uh, you guys really enjoyed my Dupes video for episode one through three. So I thought I'd just pop on quickly and talk about the looks I found to replicate all the girls' looks from episode four. Uh, this is Dave Neal, by Hi. the way, in case you didn't know, and I'm Tasha Courtney, and let's get right into it. Let's jump right into it. So, yes, yeah, so you've, you've, you're have you compiling, oh boy, you're doing a lot of work, guys, I gotta I tell you. I am working hard. How many hours does it take to do each episode? Uh, it depends. Um, it depends, but I, I tend to get kind of like excited and hyper fixated and I just keep going. I'm like, oh, one more look. Oh, but I found, I found one more well, look. Well, they say if you do what you love, it doesn't feel like work and Tasha loves to shop. So here we are, folks. <laughs> All right. Walk us through what we got. All righty. If you just want to scroll down to the first look, I really, really loved Katie's little floral Well, it's close to what you're wearing. Dress. Hey, I'm, I'm taking my inspiration from these girls. So yeah, that's why I picked out this dress today because I knew we were going to talk about my favorite little floral wrap dress of hers. Um, yeah, it's it's so cute. I love that it has sleeves. It has a little ruffle detail at the hem. If you scroll down, we can see where the original came from. Yeah, Counting Petals Dress BB Dakota by Steve Madden. You can buy it at lots of places. Um, it's $89 at Revolve. Sorry. <laughs> and $50 at Saks Off Fifth. And $89 at Steve Madden. So I would just check and see. I'm sure a lot of these styles are selling out really quickly because as soon as any of these girls wear something on TV, it always sells out right away. So you're just going to have to search around to see who has your size in stock. But uh, yeah, super cute dress. It feels kind of easy. And I can't believe that you can get it for only 50 bucks, you know, 90 bucks at some places, but for as cheap as $50. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so, I mean, the sh you said it feels eastery. I think just because you're picking up on a lot of the like floral. pinks and purples and teals yeah. in the floral. But what's nice about a floral print is it kind of like reads different in different lighting. And it's something that you wear like all spring and summer. This is a super first versatile dress. Um, I mean, there's a million events or like ways you could wear this so and now, and now not to put you on the spot here but is floral something that is always in style i feel like it's not the type of, it's like it, it, it's it, i feel like little ditzy florals like the tiny print um kind of goes in and out in style out of style but it has been in style for a couple years and is still in style but i feel like the scale of prints kind of change what's the most popular but yeah this is super popular right now but also i mean you can buy like little ditzy prints like this yeah, it, it it's cyclical. So it comes in and out. So you can get deals like this at like thrift shopping, like Goodwill mm. and like, you know, Plato's Closet. Like you can you can find things like this because people wear something a million times and decide they don't want it anymore and they give it away. But it, it comes back in style for sure. And I would have to say this, if we had to raid your closet right now, this is what you would find in Tasha's closet. I love this look. You this can't is, go wrong if you send Tasha a floral dress. This is very me. I love a little, I love a wrap dress. I love a ditzy floral. Well, who, and are, you, I, who are you wearing? You know, I... Could you stand up for everybody? I can, but I want to say that this dress I bought from Kohl's. I think it's, can you look, is it, what's the brand in the tag? It is a... Um, S-O, so? Yeah, it's just, you know, this is just a little cheapy I bought from Kohl's. But is, that a, is that the Kohl brand, so? Um, you know, I think I think they carry it at other places. But, yeah, this is just. Okay. It's great. It works It works on you. Thanks. Nice cheap Kohl's outfit there. So what do we got? What are we looking at to, 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 to what, like, what, how do, what, what's the through line with all these dresses here? All right. Well, Katie's has sleeves. It has wrap dress. Um, it has a little fluttery hem um, with a wrap. Sometimes you get a peekaboo of legs, depending on like how far, how wide the surplus is. Yeah, it's like a floral uh, cheerleader kind of like skirt. But most of all, it just has like the little ditzy floral detail. So that's what I was pulling when I was looking for um, looks to kind of replicate this look. This $40 version, I feel like does a great job. Um, this, top, this one right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it even has the same color scheme as the one she's wearing. This one, I feel like very much knocks it off. So if they don't have your size or they're sold out on the original, that one really does the job. And people need to know, you can go to wearetodottravels.com slash blog. We'll have a link below. Tasha put all these so you can click on them and purchase them from, from right from here. So if you want to know anything about any of these dresses, you yeah, can click Yeah, go right check through. it out. See what you like. 
Um, I'm not going to go one by one on these styles. Or but what's your what's your favorite? What, which one of these are well, you eyeing? If you just go scroll down, I did want to call out that I included different lengths. So, right. so some not everybody wants to wear a mini skirt. Some people prefer a maxi. Um, so yeah, this 218 fauna is more of your T length. It's linen midi. too. Hits at mid calf. Same with the Veronica linen. Um, Oh yeah, I, I was talking about the green one. I love this oh, you're green, about the print. green one. But yeah, both of them are the same. And I, I did try to include different length of sleeve as well. Um, but I, I I appreciate a sleeve. So I like that this one that the green one has the little cap sleeve, and yeah, the pink one has like the puff sleeve with the little cuff. This is like when you have a weird tan line, so you just stick your leg out as you're trying to get, you know, some sun. You know, <laughs> it's a weird pose. It looks good. I mean, she's showing off the uh, the, the slit. Is that we call it a slit? Yeah, the slit. It's, it just sounds um, weird But yeah, I so back to what I was talking about. I did include this 198 Laurent dress. is a longer mini. It almost goes to the knee. Oh, so sorry. we have a few different lengths of dress included here. We have some that are wrap dresses, some that are not wrap dresses. We have shorter sleeves. We have longer sleeves. But they all have that cute little ditzy floral print in a variety of colors, so you can choose whichever suits you best. Looks great, yeah. All right, moving on to the next one. Yeah, so I got so many comments about this blazer dress. Everybody loved this blazer dress on Katie. And it doesn't and show off the sequins here, but when you saw it with the- If you it, zoom in, you can see the sequins, but yeah, this is, it's, it's sequined. You would have to find like where the light hits it properly. Right, right. But um, yeah, this is, uh, you can kind of see on the sleeve here that it has, sequins but anyway black and white checkered um blazer dress with sequin detailing so that's those are the things that i had in mind when i was searching for blazer dresses uh hers was 327 40 percent off so i i don't remember what the original price was but it is still available on this site my Dere my teresa is the only site that has it in stock or had it in stock I, I wrote this blog post a few days ago so i don't know if it's still in stock but um they, t they tend to have, they tend to be one of the last ones to have, like when all of the other Nordstrom, Bloomingdale, when everybody else sells out of the stuff that the girls are wearing on The Bachelorette, my Teresa usually has a couple left. I feel like they're not one of the most popular places that people look first, um, but sometimes their prices are a little more expensive. No, but no, so it's kind of like a business sexy look, but you could not wear this to a business interview, right? I mean, like what's the, when, when are you wearing this? This one was very short. I, I wasn't, when Katie actually walked out, I wasn't sure if it was a blazer or a blazer dress. Yeah, I was dress like, are you wearing Greg's jacket? What is it? Because it? it was very short in the length. Um, some of these, like this 147.50 style, that one's a little bit longer of a mini length. So you can maybe get away with that in a businessy setting. But and it really I, depends on like the length of your skirt and how conservative your employer is. In in certain industries, they're a little more lenient with dress code. Um just like design when I, I work in design and they're very lenient with dress code. Yeah. It's not formal at all. I mean, I don't mean to tell people what to wear or not to wear to work. I'm just, I would assume that it's like, even though it looks like kind of business that this would be something that, you know, I mean, yeah, like you said, maybe you work in advertising or for a, you know, perfume company. And I don't, I don't know, I don't, you know, fashion, you guys wear whatever the hell you want, but um, what do you, what do you love? Which one do you so, love here? This $72, the cheapest option. Um, it has a double breasted, but it's just a basic black. But it is your basic black DV blazer dress. I feel like this one uh, says the same thing. It's a little more affordable. Um, if we want to scroll over, I'll just talk about my favorites. Yeah, the Steinway, again, I, I, I like it. I like the pocket detailing. It's all white. The basil blazer dress I really enjoyed because it it's also sequined. It was hard mm. to find a lot of options that had sequin. Um, but this one is sequined. And then if you zoom out, this... Uh, checkered. Can you zoom out a little bit? The one forty seven fifty. Okay. I I liked this dress because it was checkered, and Katie's dress was checkered. Um, and then keep on scrolling. This one sixty has the puff sleeve, which I thought was cute. I was just looking for things that had special detailing because there are a million blazer dresses out there, but. You know, when we're looking for something that has a little bit of special detailing, the 231 is a boxier cut. And yeah. the one that Katie wore was more fitted at the waist. But I, it has like the shiny little leopard detail and it's bright purple. So I thought it was cute and special. Do you think it's reduced in price because no one's buying this? 
Because you look like a linebacker. <laughs> is that why? Listen, I'm telling you, oversize is very in right now. And the straight boxier cut is very in right now. It's just, it's going to send a different message than the fitted at the waist, very tailored blazer look. But, you know, it's different styles for different events. Um, the 255, we had another sequin style and this one was checkered. So I do like this option. Actually, you know what? It's the same designer. Is that, are those sequins it's, on this? Yeah, it's sequins. And it's the same designer as the original that she's wearing. It looks like a rain jacket. It looks like very shiny. It is shiny. It's like a clear sequin okay, over top. Okay, cool. Very nice. So if you zoom out. Same designer as Katie's. Yeah. Uh, Berger Christensen, Newton checked sequin blazer mini dress yeah so it's the same designer as the one she wore um but a little cheaper it's 255 um they're basically giving away folks <laughs> <laughs> if you zoom back in for me just tell me which one you want i think the this is cute this one to the right this the is like black halo Kinda, halo olympic i couldn't remember if that one had sequins also so i was trying to see in the photo but maybe not it's cute. It's got like a green, like a lemon lime, yeah. key lime and, green. You know, if you zoom, if you were to zoom all the way out, okay, and and you can see the whole collection of the things that I linked in in one photo, you can see that you know we kind of have a color scheme going here, like black, white, neutral, and yellow. There was a lot of like yellow and limey color mm. in this in this sort of collection I put together. Can you move your head and show the last one? That last Carlotta blazer, it had fringe detailing. Um, nope, wrong. The other Carlotta, which one? This one, oh, Rotate. Rotate had fringe detailing. And since we pulled fringe from the the cowboy looks last time, I just thought I'd throw that one in there. Yeah, it's a throw cute as little much special detail. There. Absolutely. So those are Katie's blazer looks. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yeah, I'm ready to move on. If people want to take a closer look at these looks, you can go on the blog and check out the blog post. Um, I'm just kind of breezing through the these because they all, I feel like, you know the vibe. I like this jacket. It's a checkered, cute little jacket. So we're looking for a te uh, checkered, cute little jacket. Now, can I can I ask you this? Because I read the comments that Redditors have and sometimes they're brutally honest. And they said that they didn't like this outfit because it was pulling a lot at like the crotch. And I don't even know, do you feel like this fit her well? Or there was just kind of a bad angle? All right, I'll tell you. Because I work at a fit model, as a fit model, I can really speak to this. Yeah, this is important. You're you're in, you're the expert here. All right, so um, the reason her pants are kind of sagging at the waist is because they're too big for her in the waist. The legs look like they fit her in the thighs and calves, but it looks like the hips and waist might be a little too big. So. They probably should. I mean, obviously, they're on a tight schedule and maybe they don't have a seamstress in house, but she's the lead of the show. So I really feel like they could have, should have um, tailored these pants to fit her a little better. They should have taken in the waist a little bit so that it would sit a little higher because you're right. The top half is sagging. And I call this kind of stuff out all the time in fittings because it, you know, it just happens. Not every pant is going to fit every body, but my job as a fit model is to make sure that this pant is going to fit the most people nicely. And every once in a while, I'll put on pants that fit exactly like this. And I'll just tell the designers, the, com the compression in this pant doesn't feel balanced. It feels tighter in the thigh than it does at the hips and waist, causing it to sag. And then at her knees, you know, designers get uh, super annoyed about bunching happening at the knees. It's but happen, it's a right? common problem. It's going to happen because you're walking around and moving in your pants. So what's happening here is that it's a little tighter on her thigh. I mean, sorry, not thigh, calf. And um, a little roomier at her knee. I have the same shape legs. I have shapelier legs. Um, and so the knee is going to be a smaller circumference than the calf because she has a little more developed athletic calves. I do too. Um, and so what's happening is the circumference, the, the pant is riding up trying to find a smaller circumference. So it's getting stuck around her knee. Um, the way to avoid this would be to wear a pant, to, to make this pant a little more wide at the calf so that it, it doesn't, crunch up and it, it just drapes just down flow, it drape drapes down. over the calf now i tell you i tell you what tasha 
But this is obviously, a, you know, this is a skinny pant with made with stretch fabric. This is probably like 2% spandex or something. So maybe the designers wanted this pant to fit super tight. You describing her calf muscle right now was like a nuclear physicist describing how a bomb works. I mean, it's it's a real work of art here. There's a reason why you're in such demand. And you th- you just rattle it off like we all know the circumference of our knees. <laughs> no, I can I tell you right now, there's five women watching this going, just going, oh, oh, honey, what's the circumference of my knee? I mean, this is good to know. And I think the, an- the answer, I mean, not everyone can have a seamstress. Some outfits just fit certain types better than others. Some, some outfits just kind of fit better. Yeah, you know, my friend Amy, she has very toothpick legs. So she doesn't have developed very, like, athletic calves. Her her leg is straight down, super skinny, like a toothpick with not much curve, not much difference oh between Oh, boy, Amy's her... not going to like this one. No, she is going <laughs> to like this. Every body type is different, and every body type is beautiful. But she has a very skinny toothpick leg, and so her knee circumference might be the same or even bigger than her calf circumference. So you're right. Not every pant is going to fit every person the same. But, you know, knee scrunch is not something that really bothers me that much. But I that's think what you would call it. You would say, oh, this is this is scrunching at There's the knee. There's a little scrunching happening at the knee. And that's just normal because people are not mannequins. They move, they walk around, they bend, they stretch, they sit, they sand. So and of course, that's bachelor, gonna happen. Yeah, we're, we're and we see this all the time, like in the boys looks too. We always, when we joke about like the boys who wear the super skinny um, jeans, the same thing happens to them. I feel like in the boys, I kind of like it. You know, it bothers me maybe a little bit more it in the capri, boys. It kind of capri lifts it. Well, because a lot of these boys are so athletic. You know, they ha- they are very muscular. They have very developed thighs and calves. And so to, for them to wear the super, super skinny jean, yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of showing off their muscles. So maybe that's why they like it. But I'm like, just wear a bigger pant. <laughs> but, you know, for this, it doesn't bother me on Katie. It really doesn't. Well, I do know. wish that they had taken in her waist a little bit because obviously it's a little too big in her waist, which is why it's drooping, drooping down. But, you know, this is a casual afternoon dare date. Not, this is not like a super fancy event. This isn't a rose ceremony. So they probably, you know, she probably didn't care. She probably didn't think it was that big of a deal. It's a casual look. So. Now, now, as a fit model, what would you say about the shirt that I'm wearing? Because as you know, I found this shirt in Colombia and I absolutely love it. I, I should have bought five of these. But when it's on the side... It gets a little tight. I don't have big arms by any means, but they'll kind of it'll kind of get stuck on the bicep. Yeah, that's exactly the same thing. Your bicep circumference is just a little bit bigger than the circumference of the cuff of but your. But I sleeve. have a large chest, and it doesn't pull that hard on my chest. Like most of my shirts, like you've told me, like kind of what will you, you can tell right away if it doesn't fit right if it kind of pulls on the buttons. Pulls there. open your. But it feels kind of nice, and I feel like even though it's a little tight, it's kind of a summery thing. So it's not the end of the world on the, on the biceps. You know what I mean? No, it's really just about your comfort level. And a lot of times in designs like this for women, they'll have a button. They'll have a tiny little button placket on the cuff so that if somebody has a bigger calf, they could just undo, I mean, a bigger bicep boy. My brain's off this morning. Calves they, and could, biceps. <laughs> they could just unbutton that button or maybe add a little button extension. Fascinating stuff, Tasha. So do you have a pl- flannel that you like here? Um, well, they're all just different. Um, I was going for kind of the same color scheme and you'll see there's a lot of like yellow and orange that's peeking out in here, just like in the little blazer wrap dress. Um, but I chose different color plaids, different lengths and different amount of puffiness because hers is a like flannel jacket, shirt jacket, or like a little bit you know, we don't know. This one, hers is not too thick. I don't think hers is lined with anything. So I don't think it really serves as a coat. But some of these looks that I picked are lined so they could serve as a coat. I love a lined flannel. Yeah. Like uh, a nice little like fleece lining or a little faux fur lining. You go I think five years without washing it. It smells like a campfire. <laughs> There's s'mores stuck to it and it still looks fashionable. But yeah, so I went with a few lighter weight options and a few heavier weight options. But, you know, I don't want to speak too much about this. Just because, you know, I feel like it's whatever catches your eye, whatever color. And it might be the easiest, it might be the hardest thing to mess up. I feel like flannel might be the hardest thing to mess up because it's like, it's flannel. You know, what are you trying to do, you know? Yeah, you know what? I actually just remembered I had pulled, I had set aside a flannel with fringe because 
of the fringe from the second episode and I didn't add it to this mix. So I might go back in and add in that flannel with fringe if you guys want it. Leave me, a comment, leave me a comment um, on the blog post if you want the link for the flannel with fringe. Yeah, post it on it was your a in- little coat. I mean, it doesn't really go necessarily with this vibe except that it's flannel, but I really liked the fringe detail. So if you guys want a, a link for that, just let me know you and I'll add it to the blog. Post it on your Instagram so you give people a reason to go follow you here. Give me your finger and point up right straight up there. There it is, folks. Oh, another thing. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, look, I got wait. Tasha's Instagram there right there. Is. Boop, boop, boop. There it is. Yeah, sorry. You know, you just, we're not weather people. We still have a hard time figuring it out. <laughs> All right. So that's your flannel. And, um, now we're and working then Tisha's on... jacket. Okay, so I only linked pew, three pew. items. All of these are from Revolve. I'm not super pleased. Oh, actually, yeah, they are all from Revolve. I'm not super pleased with these options. Um, if you scroll down, I think the original was sold out, right? Okay, yeah, it's sold out. I linked it to Revolve, but I'm pretty sure it was sold out in most sizes. There might be a few sizes left. Um, I want to like this middle one. I love the middle one, but it doesn't read the same. The one that reads the same as Tasha's jacket is the 89 Whole Lot of Love, but it's very basic. Um, it's missing the pocketing details. It's missing some, like the fabric is not as nice. So I felt like this one was... You know, it, it's a cheaper version of the uh, original. I I loved the original. Um, but yeah, this one, the fabric just doesn't read the same. But it's still an option. I like the drawstring de- detail. It's cut at the same length. So it is close. Now, the second closest one is the $595 one. Yikes. Yeah. It's a little shorter than the one Tasha is wearing. A little more cropped. And it has a little more going on as far as like bomber details go. Um, but it's close and it has the cute little waist drawstring detail that I really, really liked. Um, my personal favorite of these three options is the Florence Bomber. I do, I really like the detail. I don't know if this is like a zip, like maybe these are removable sleeves. I'm not positive, oh, yeah. but it might, because it has that little placket there, it might be covering like a removable sleeve zip detail. I think the sleeves are way too big. It's, I mean, volume is in. She's like a, like, like she'd be like Aladdin if you went to the, it's in the military. It's got a lot of shape. It's got a lot of volume, but that's really on trend <laughs> right now. So I don't know to each their own, but I am going to go back in just so everybody knows. I am going to go back in and try and look for more copycat options of Tasha's jacket. I just had to wrap it up. It was like one in the, mo- the morning the other night when I finished up this blog. So I, I, I had to wrap it up, but I think I will keep looking for options um, to copycat Tasha's jacket style because it was just so cute. But yeah, none of these are exact matches. Give me like exactly the same vibe, but I do feel like the three that I linked were pretty close. Can I ask you a side question? Yeah. So we're seeing a lot of this model. She's working overtime. How many looks, because this is called catalog modeling, right? Is that right? There's uh, different. This is e-com. E- oh, e-com. So e-com's on one of the lower tiers of modeling where you're you pretty much going to what, what, wear 50 different outfits well, in one photo shoot? I wouldn't no, you'll wear hundreds. And I would not say that it's lower tiers of modeling. Ecom is bread and butter for a lot of models. Saying, it you're was not bread cover... and butter for me for a long time. Um I right. yeah, it's just it's it's a very physically demanding work. It moves at a super rapid pace. It's what Dale it's not Moss did for Party City. Particularly um like creatively fulfilling. It's it's very robotic. You take show a up, photo side, boom. It's boom. front, side, back. You're just doing like you you walk out onto the white paper, <laughs> or if it's in a studio, they'll have a white wall. Um, but you do like five front poses, five side poses, five back poses, new outfit. You might shoot video because video um of the looks like to like see a, how they like walk and move so. is becoming more popular. And you have a clothing on rack, you just go straight down the rack. E-commerce sites, but yes, you wear hundreds of outfits in a day. It's super grueling work. Standard it's pay, one fifty an hour. Um, yeah, depending. Four depending. four hour minimum. Yeah, which but, sounds like a lot, but the agency takes a cut. So anyway, it's yeah, like you said, it's it's work. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but she is one of the Revolve favorites, so you do see her a lot on All their right. website. I just want—I mean, I saw her like 
in almost every other photo. So, all right. So here's. So uh, this was a specific request. I think it was Jessica who asked for this shoe. So I did my best. I couldn't find any info on this boot. Nowhere on any of the blog sites. So I I literally went through Instagram and took screenshots <laughs> yeah, of promo videos <laughs> of her in this outfit to try and find <laughs> the boot. But uh, yeah, just wanted the boot that she was wearing when she met Blake. When she met Blake, she was wearing this white sweater and jeans outfit, um, which she also wore. You know, obviously these were on two different episodes, but I think that, you know, they filmed all of this content in the same day. But yeah, if you scroll down, you can see it again oh, here. Go. We need to get your Venmo up on the graphics. I think people would donate to this work that you're doing here. In the <laughs> this meantime. Is of, this is a lot of work that I'm doing, but it's been exciting. You're get, taking photos like it's Bigfoot going. <laughs> there you go. Screen grab. Screen, screen grab. grab. <laughs> yeah, you can really, see what a desktop of her laptop looks like. It's just like. Um, no, I really did. I, I went through everybody's promo videos um, to try and find these. But yeah, so basically it's just a small heeled tan suede booty. It had a little tassel detail on the zipper pull um, on the inside of her ankle. So I think if you zoom out. Looks like a very everyday thing you could wear a, a lot of. It's a super basic everyday boot. Yeah, this is something you could get a ton of use but of. But is a suede boot going to last a while? Yeah, I mean, you just got to take care of it. And if you get faux suede, it's not going to be like as tricky if it gets water on it. Um, but yeah, spray it with a little bit of that. What's that can of stuff? Oh, I got it right over there. The that, uh, like, Scotch Guard. Well, yeah, Scotch Guard. Spray it with a little bit of that. And just, you know, if you get any spills on it, try and wipe it up right but, away. You know, you live in New York City. You get puddles everywhere. You can't wear fish these oil. in the rain. Don't yeah. wear these on a rainy day. Bring a second pair of shoes, ladies. Wear Come your on, rain boots on up. a rainy day. All right. So if you scroll into that center boot, the 138 Kevin booty, I think this might be it. I'm not positive that it's the same boot that Katie is wearing, but it's very, very close. It's the same height on the ankle. It's the same height on the heel. I, I wasn't, you know, I'm just looking at screenshots. So I, I wasn't positive about the heel shape, but I feel like this might be it. Now, um, now, now when you do fit modeling, would you, would you judge the size of the booty hole? I don't fit shoes. I just wanted to say booty hole. <laughs> but good to know. Thank you. I got snuck that one by you. Um, right. But this boot does have the tassel zip. Uh, the tassel detail on the zipper at the inside of the ankle. So I do think this might be the boot. And if it's not the boot, it's pretty dang darn close get, to the boot. Let's get Katie on the line here. Yeah, very, <laughs> yeah. if we could see the other side. This does have I kind of a- I thought about messaging her just to see, like, hey. Uh, she's going to be so me? annoyed. No, I, I'm not going to bother Katie, her. what shoes are you wearing? No. Let us know. <laughs> um, but anyway, I- uh, I linked two other boots that I liked that I felt like had a similar vibe. These are both a little taller in the ankle. The 348 Laura Suede is also a little taller in the heel. So it's like slightly taller one. in the heel, slightly taller in the ankle. Yeah, I really like this one too. I would absolutely buy this boot. Um, and then if you go back to the Sam Edelman, same, I couldn't, the pictures on the website were square. And the way that I cropped crop the images on my website um, are vertical. Or should I click on it? Sure. All right. Open like a new tab. Um, but this boot has a little bit different of a heel shape. It's got a little more of an angle in the heel. Um, but I still feel like this told the same story. So I'll wait for it to load here. Oh, okay. Now do you um, trust a $78 boot? I mean, I, I, it's on sale from Zappos. Okay. It's marked down. I mean, I don't know. Is that a good deal? I don't know. Like for me, I, that's, I've never spent more than a hundred bucks on a shoe before. I don't think. There you go. So if you, yeah, click, uh, click the X, please. Oh, see, now it's more expensive. Oh, jeez. Get it, click get it soon. Click the X, honey. I try, I hit it twice. Okay, click dismiss. There we All go. right, there we go. <laughs> so it's not $71 anymore. It's 80, but it's still a good deal. Um, but you can see how the heel shape has a little more of an angle to it. What are you doing? I don't know. Sorry. So... You know, it's it's a little more like fashion forward, but it's still a basic. It's a logo. Oh, I thought that was a little hook or something for it's, when you hang them. Who hangs their boots? Late, I mean, a boot hanging thing. You're so annoying. <laughs> okay. It tells the same story. So I put that in there. So we have knockoffs of Katie's boot at three different price points, um, but they're they're all cute. 
Uh, my YouTube channel doesn't get to see me have this much fun on my videos. You, I'll tell you what, you annoy the crap out of my commenters. <laughs> I'm answering so many comments no. coming to your defense. Like, at least he's trying to learn. No, they don't like me. You're just being a loud mouth and you're interrupting my train of thought. I'm People trying. are here to see fashion. Well, if I have an idea pop up, I'm sure someone who's watching thinks the same way. So I'm trying to squeeze the most. I don't think everybody was trying to squeeze in booty hole. <laughs> Hey, she's funny. She's funny. <laughs> all right. Somebody's trying to squeeze in Back the booty hole. Back to holes. serious, all right. All right. please, because this is the look of the night, and I really want to give this look the attention it deserves. I loved this dress so much. So beautiful. Nobody knows where it's from. None of the blogs know. No designers are jumping in and taking mm. credit. You would think that, like, a dress this beautiful, the designers would be like, oh, yeah, that's mine. But um, nobody knows where this dress is from. Wild. So I don't know, you know, it, it's maybe this is custom made. It's like maybe. the Banksy of fashion people. <laughs> I, I don't know, but obviously it's a beautiful dress. We think it's very expensive. It's hand beaded. It probably weighs 50 pounds. It's just a gorgeous dress. Um, and this is the dress that she wore to her rose ceremony, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so we don't know about the original. So is a bra built into it? It's a bodice. This probably had, like I said, it's very, um, heavy. So I'm sure it has an interior bodice piece with boning. And so that's going to be super skin tight. Boning is like, like a bra's wiring. Similar, but different. Yeah. A bra would have an underwire. Boning is, is different and it runs vertically, um, normally in the center it just depends it's like on how the much framework of the detail. dress but if you think about a corset a corset has boning and the reason it sucks you in so tight and it's so structured is because of the boning it holds up it's like how braces have the metal parts that you then crank into i i never had any cranks on okay, my braces wow. but yeah, nice it's teeth. it's it's adding structure to cool. this dress so it probably has an interior bodice piece um which means more expensive probably like this yeah, dress is not something. It, you don't hand beat a dress without doing top notch construction detailing. So this is going to be a very expensive dress. Yeah. But anyway, so I found a few different dresses that I felt like told a similar story at all different price points. The cheapest ones that I found were just under $300. And then I linked to, I don't know, maybe like a $3,000 dress too. Whoa, did you? Let's see. Keep scrolling down. The most expensive one, yeah, the thirty five hundred dollar dress. Yikes! Yeah, very but expensive. But it makes you know sense what? When you think of teams putting these together, her dress might be as much as a car. So we we just don't know. Um, but yeah, it depends on the type of event you're going to. Obviously, like how much money you want to spend. Um, these aren't being run through some factory like that H and M has. No, these dresses. These are all going to have top-notch detailing. You don't, like I said, you don't do a, a hand beaded dress or like a dress with all this detail without doing. This is something that you wear to a formal event, a red carpet thing, a prom, a it's wedding. It's like the difference like, between seeing like a photo of Monet and seeing a Monet up close, right? You know what I mean? Like when you, does that make sense? You like, can appreciate all of like the, you know, you touch hand it. beaded, like all of the craftsmanship that go into looks like this. So yeah, wow. obviously these dresses are a splurge, but you know, you only buy these dresses every once in a while for a very special event. So, but I did include dresses at all different price points. You can get dresses that give you the same vibe and a similar look at the cheaper cheaper price point. So if you scroll up, let's just go from the beginning. Um, so this 295 Aiden Maddox dress. Now this is a shorter length. The dress that Katie was wearing was a full length gown. It has sort of like shape at the hem. I wouldn't necessarily call it mermaidy, but it did have some shape. It clung to her on the skirt portion of her dress. So this does the same. It's got the V-neck, it's got the little strap and it hugs at the hips and then just has that flutter detail at the hem. Um, and $300, I feel like is a good price. You know, it has all of the detailing it's special it still has that special feeling and you're gonna want like an elegant shoe mm -hmm. like you're gonna but this you're is gonna... something that you could wear to an event that is a little less formal that's just still just a dressy event now this 297 dress is fully sequined and so that's why i put it in it's not beaded but it's sequined it's super cute it's the only mini length dress that i included but i did feel like this is something for a dressy event not like a 
black tie type thing, but a dressy event. Sequin mini dress. That's that's a uh, that's pretty baller. And it's baller. in that champagne color. Obviously, hers I think it is made with like a nude mesh. Now, what do you call this? Detail. Cleopatra. That would be just like a wrap tie. Wrap tie. Okay. Um, and then I'll just scroll down and kind of chat, speak to some of my favorites. I was looking for, you know, hand beading, sequins, applique, um, anything that's like a little extra, something special, a little detail that we can put on the, on these dresses now. Okay. So these, let's stop on this 598 row. Okay. Um, so these, I feel like are all really good matches. The beaded, the 598 beaded strappy, it's beaded. It has the nude coloring vibe. Um, it has that little mermaidy shape, mm. v-neck, tiny spaghetti, and it's got all of the details. This center one, uh, the beading with a rose gold. Beautiful. I love this so much. It looks I love like it the, so uh, much. Like a like a chapel. It's like a rose gold coppery color. Mm. Um, I love Look at these the shoulder little fringe. cap sleeve with the French. I mean, honestly, I almost like want this as a wedding dress, but it only comes in this one color. It's like Elton John. This is so elegant. glam. Yeah, it has yeah, a little get this rock, as a wedding and, dress. rock and roll vibes. And, if they can make this for me in white, I'll wear this as my All wedding right, dress. All right, Mac Duggle, let us know. I This is beautiful. I love the high neckline. And this the bodice. The natural waist bodice. Bodice. It's just, I think this is so pretty. I really, really love this. It's a little different cut, you know, with obviously it has the cap sleeve and the high neck and the shoulder detail. It's got a lot of um, Christian so relics different than the dress that Katie wore, but I feel like it tells the same story. It has the same vibe with all the beading and like extra special detailing. Very symmetrical. What's it called when it's like this symmetry straight down the line here? Yeah, Is absolutely. there a term for that? They like, did that on purpose. That's not cheap. Yeah, no. All right. Great. So if you can scroll to that next dress. Now, obviously this one's a different shape than the one Katie wore. This has more volume in the skirt, but I do feel like it tells the same story. It's got the sequin um, beading detailing. It's shiny it's special it's fun it's flirty i like the fuller hem because it's going to give you a lot of movement um yeah this one's just really fun cool all right so can you zoom out for me and i'll just see the last yeah so these last couple dresses are a little more expensive but you know they they fit the same vibe um we've got a floral embroider how the many are Daisy they sequin has the fuller like hem. how many are they making of this thirty five hundred dollar dress not a lot do they say all right we'll order a hundred like, no what do they... they do not order a hundred of like... these i would say big retailers i think this one was maybe from nord uh i'm not sure you'd have to click on it you just like call the store and be from. like do you have the jenny packing but whatever it's a buyer's job to know their customer a, a retail buyer's job to know their customer and to know what people like and what they're willing to pay for certain items so a dress like that like this that's very special not at marshall's fully beaded and sequined and these are like you know not your everyday sequins these are nice shaped sequins um they know that like there's a customer who shops their store who is gonna buy this dress and is willing to pay x price for it and um you know there's not on a dress like this there's not a ton of customers willing to so they might only order um you know like three per store or something like that. They, this is going to be a smaller volume. No, but sometimes buy. you know they'll resell them to like TJ Maxx, right? Like 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 lower quality stuff. Not what do they do? Dress. I was say, what do they do if no one buys this? They just burn it? Or like send it back or they just hold on to it forever? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's the case. They would think, probably just mark it down okay. at the end of the season. Gotcha. So is that it for all these for, formal dresses here? Yeah, there's a lot of options. Zoom in on that 498 one. Right here. Yeah, that one I thought was really pretty. I It has like the crisscross in its beading detailing, but I really just like the shape. I feel like it it looks very heavy. It's not so flared at the hem. It's a slightly more column shaped, but it's got the beautiful structured bodice and the points at the top of the bust are a little higher. So it's got a slightly more conservative vibe on the V. But I just feel like this one's really beautiful. But it's, it's got like a wide V. Super flattering on so many different body types. I really, really like this one. Um, and then the one next to it also had like the sort of lattice work um, detailing in the bead embellishment. 
Um, and then there was one more I just wanted to speak to real quick. If you'll, the 398, I think it's above it. Yeah, this one. This was a MIDI length version, the MacDougall sequin right there in the center. Um, yeah, I just, you know, it's like for a slightly less formal event, it still has all the specialness and like the attention to detail in the beading. Um, I, I just, I, I loved Katie's dress. And I wish I could buy every single one of these knockoff <laughs> dresses. I wish I had a place to wear all well, of I'll these I'll tell you dresses. what, if people subscribe to your channel, you'll help her grow. And then you can maybe afford one of these uh, embellishments, if you will. So yeah, embellish yourself. I just yourself. need a place to wear it. But. Yep. Well, embellish yourself onto that like button uh, on the channel. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. I know your subscribers are growing. My guess is that you'll be monetized within the next 10 days. That's that my would guess. That would be so you know, wild. Some people spend several years waiting to get monetized. You're about... Two weeks in, I think you'll be monetized uh, in less than a month. But that's due to everyone who's watching, commenting, and supporting you, and that's all people Thank can you. do. So, um, but yeah, but it's been fun to talk to you about all this. You're you've got a a, a ton of info here, and uh, I like that you're taking suggestions from people. So people send Tasha a DM. Yeah, and please, I posted this on my Instagram stories the other day, but I'll just say it again here. I've had a lot of you guys comment really good suggestions or things that you want dupes for, um, especially the dupes. Uh, in my comments and like in DMs on Instagram and stuff. But unfortunately, I'm so scatterbrained, I can't get to them right away. And so a lot of your comments and the items that you would like duped, if you had specific items you requested, have just completely gotten lost in the ether. They're way far down in my messages. I'll never find them again. They're far down in the comments. I'll never find them again. So if there is an item that you wanted linked that I haven't yet linked on the blog posts, just comment on the blog post again and let me know which item I'm missing. I know I, someone wanted a specific pair of earrings um, and I have not linked that specific pair of earrings yet. So if you're still looking for those earrings, um, leave me a comment on the blog post. That's just an easier way for me to get to it, to have all of those requests in one place. All right, everyone have a safe 4th of July. Eat a lot of good food. Enjoy your strawberry shortcake. Do we get it all? Yeah, I think we got it all. Happy weekend. Enjoy these dupes. Bye, everybody. Bye.